Good morning. Um, in case you don't know, I'm over on the West Coast, and I have a friend who's on the East Coast, and right now he's really going through the ringer with everything that's going on. I told him to open his Bible and read Psalm 2. Um, I don't think he probably did it though, so this video is for you. I'm going to read it to you. And the reason why I suggest this is because last year I had a moment of kind of the same thing he's going through, except for I have a little boy. And so most of my anxieties were revolving around that. And I just had this moment where I was sitting there and I was like, Lord, what are you really thinking in the midst of all this? Like, I want to see you kind of come through everything in some sort of way. Like, let me see you in this mess. And, um, one of the ways he likes to talk to people is when you have a question or a concern, because I talk to him just like I talk to a normal person. And when you have a question or a concern, one of the ways he likes to respond is that when you open the Bible, you pretty much open straight to your answer. And so that's what happened to me regarding Psalm 2. I had that moment last year, and then I sat down and I opened the book. And as soon as I opened the book, I felt urged to just read right where I opened to. And this is what it says. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. He shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them with his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me. You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. So, my friend on the East Coast, that was for you. And anybody else who needs that, I hope that encouraged you today. That's his response to my question of, Lord, where are you in all this? What are you thinking right now? He laughs. He holds them in derision. He's coming.